So lately I've been seeing a whole bunch of vegan burgers getting posted and they have been looking delicious. It's kind of inspired me. Uh, the Burger Dude made a Baconator using the rice paper bacon that looked incredible. If you guys don't know who The Burger Dude is, make sure you follow him. He's over here on YouTube and also on Instagram. I'll leave his YouTube link. Uh, I also saw Edgy Veg making a Big Mac and Avant Garde Vegan, Gaz Oakley, he made uh, In-N-Out Burgers. I thought those were really great. So today I kind of wanted to just have my hand at it. Now originally I talked to the burger dude about making my own version of the Baconator off of his uh, version of the Baconator that he made. But then I thought, why just make the Baconator? Why don't I try my hand at making all of them? The Baconator, the Big Mac, the In-N-Out Burger, but what about Five Guys and Steak and Shake? So I decided I wanted to try my hand at making five of the most iconic fast food burgers, but vegan. Let's go. So the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna make our beef. We're gonna make a mixture for beef to make sure that we have enough burgers for all uh, five fast food burgers here. Uh, now each one of these burgers varies in size and thickness. We wanna make them as close to the actual fast food versions as possible, but vegan. So we're gonna start with one and a half cups of textured vegetable protein. This should end up being about one and a half pounds of meat, which is about what we need for all of these burgers. About one and a half tablespoons of methyl cellulose. We're gonna be doing about a half of a cup of potato protein. Uh, so if you can get your hands on potato protein, I definitely recommend it. Uh, VeganGastronomy.com, they have it there. Uh, but if not, pea protein or fava bean protein, both of those are gonna work really well in here. About a half a cup. Tablespoon mushroom powder, teaspoon of the beetroot powder, teaspoon and a half of cocoa powder, half a teaspoon onion powder, same with the garlic powder, and a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Now what we're gonna do is just give this a quick mix and make sure that all of the ingredients are really nicely combined. They're mixed well together because it's gonna be really important when we add the liquid. We wanna make sure that it's a pretty even dispersion of ingredients. Now let's make the liquid for this. We need to start off with one and a half cups of water, one teaspoon of molasses, half a teaspoon liquid smoke, one and a half teaspoons of soy sauce, and one teaspoon of vinegar. Today I'm using a rice vinegar. Let's just give this liquid mixture a quick whisk. And then we're just gonna pour this into our meat. This should be very well hydrated. And then just make sure everything's mixed in well. This is like a darker bur burger than what I've made in the past. So you can see at this point, this really doesn't look like a burger yet. Uh, we're gonna let this sit for about 20 minutes or so, let it hydrate up, and then we're gonna move on to the next steps. Now, I already have my fat made, the fat mixture. It's the pucks that I've used. I've used them in a lot of videos. If you don't know what those are, I'll leave a link in the description below so that way you can check out the video where I make the fat puck. So it gives the meat its marbleization and gives little bits of fat and fat pockets so when you bite, it stays juicy. Now the methyl cellulose also helps keep it juicy. I'm just gonna cover this guy up, let it sit aside while we make everything else that we need for our burgers. Okay, so now let's make our bacon. We're gonna be doing a combination of bacon. We're gonna be making a rice paper bacon, but we're not gonna be doing the rice paper bacon marinade that I've made in the past. I also made the edgy veg rice paper bacon, which was really good. We're actually gonna be making the marinade from the last bacon that I made, the mochi bacon. That was delicious, incredible marinade. So let's go ahead and get that going. It's really easy. So for the bacon marinade, we're gonna do two tablespoons of the mushroom powder. This is a mushroom extract powder. One teaspoon, which seems like a lot, but bacon salty, of liquid smoke. Quarter cup of maple syrup and a teaspoon of the beetroot powder for the color. Let's whisk this together. Now I do kind of want to just like thin this out a little bit, so I am going to be adding just a touch of water. It's going to just kind of help make this just a bit thinner, make it a little bit easier to stick to the bacon, because it was pretty thick. Let's give it a taste and see if we got the magic right. Man, it's just wild how much that tastes like bacon. So at this point, we're just going to cut these guys in the strips. I'm gonna be doing two strips in a row. I'm gonna cut the edges off first, because we're not gonna use those, we don't need those, and then let's make our bacon. And now that we have our strips, we're just gonna take each strip, dip them into some water individually, and then just stick them together, and then run them through the marinade here. And then just lay them out on a piece of uh, parchment lined baking sheet and let's just move on. Let's make all this bacon. I'm also gonna preheat the oven for 400 degrees. Now at this point, they're all done. They've all been covered in the marinade. I'm just gonna drop some black pepper over the top of them. It's gonna give them their final bit of the taste, that bacon-any seasoned taste. 
Now we're gonna clean everything up here, but we're gonna save the marinade and get it ready for baking. We're gonna bake these for about six to seven minutes. About three minutes, I'm gonna check on them. If they need any more of the, the bacon sauce, then I'll just brush them down with the sauce. I'm also gonna try to flip them over if I can after about three minutes. So while we're cooking our bacon, let's make our sauces. The Big Mac and the In-N-Out Double Double both have their own special sauce. They're both very similar. They're both like a basic burger sauce. We're gonna make each one individually to try to match up more like what the original counterpart is. We're gonna make that sauce vegan like everything else. So let's get going. The In-N-Out Double Double sauce is really simple. All it is, two tablespoons of vegan mayo. I'm using uh, the Hellman's vegan mayo. It seems to be like what's available right now. One tablespoon ketchup, half of a teaspoon vinegar, two teaspoons relish, and about a half of a teaspoon sugar. Let's give that a whisk and we should have the in and out burger sauce. Love that, perfect. Let's make our Big Mac sauce. We're gonna start with one and a half tablespoons ketchup, one and a half tablespoons vegan mayo, one and a half teaspoons of relish, half a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, half a teaspoon vinegar, white vinegar, quarter teaspoon of paprika, half teaspoon garlic powder, and then one tablespoon of finely minced onion. You can use like a dehydrated onion for this. It would work really well. Let's give this guy a whisk. This is a lot more involved than our In-N-Out sauce. That's the Big Mac sauce. Wow, that's like bringing back some Big Mac memories right there. Wow, it is legit the Big Mac sauce. Okay, bacon's coming out of the oven. A little crispier than what we wanted, but that's okay. Let's get these guys off onto a cooling rack. That way they can crisp up and become the bacon they're meant to be. Okay, so at this point we have our two sauces. We have our bacon, it came out. It's looking really good. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna crisp up. This is gonna be awesome. Let's add the fat to our burger mixture and get that cooking. We're gonna make up a bunch of patties. So this is pretty much just coconut oil, methyl cellulose. Again, I'll leave the link. But then what we're gonna do is just grate this, try and get some fairly large chunks using the large end of a cheese grater or box grater. Okay, so everything's ready to go. Let's start assembling our burgers. First up, let's make the Five Guys bacon cheeseburger. I was gonna make the cheese because we've made everything else, but I just figured since we've made everything else, I'm just gonna use Violife cheddar cheese. This stuff is really good. I love these cheddar cheese slices. So that's what we're gonna use today. This is vegan, because I know you guys are gonna comment. Violife cheddar is a vegan cheese. So for the Five Guys cheeseburger, each patty is 94 grams each. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our, our large ball, we're gonna flat it, flatten it into a patty, and we're gonna get it into the skillet. And remember, we're just gonna make these fairly thin, fast food style thin. I know Five Guys is normally not super thin, but we're just gonna season the burgers with a touch of salt and some black pepper. And then only one of the Five Guys patties has cheese on it. We're gonna do the sesame seed bun with two strips of bacon. And then now we just top this guy with some torn iceberg lettuce, thin slice of tomato, a few pickles, and then your drop of ketchup. Boom! That's our Five Guys burger. I mean, I think that looks amazing. I can't wait to try it out. Let's move on to the next one quickly so we can get these all done. The Big Mac is up next. The Big Mac patties are only 45 grams. Hopefully our TVP mixture will be able to hold up and make these as thin as they need to be. Now the Big Mac is gonna use three buns. We have a sesame seed bun, two bottoms essentially, and then the top. So these guys go the bottom bun, some of the Big Mac special sauce. And we're gonna drop some shredded lettuce on this guy. Now in the Big Mac, the cheese goes on the bottom. So we're just gonna flip this guy over. We have our next bun. I'm gonna do some more sauce on top of this bun. Some shredded lettuce, minced onion, pickles. For as thin as these burgers are at McDonald's, it was kind of tough to get these TVP patties so thin and to stick together. And then we just top that off with our bun and then that is our insane, absolutely insane plant-based Big Mac. I mean, <laughs> Okay, so next up is the Wendy's Baconator. I added, actually added a little bit more water to my mixture because my other burgers were starting to fall apart. That just meant that there wasn't enough there to kind of gel everything together. So the Baconator is going to be made with uh, two patties. We also wanna make sure with the Baconator that we get our square patty. That's the signature of Wendy's. Bun, patty, cheese, three slices of bacon, one more patty with cheese, three more slices of bacon, mayo, ketchup, and a bun. 
It's gonna be awesome. Next up is the Steak and Shake Double End Cheese Steak Burger. This thing's gonna be so good. A 62 gram patty, it is laid out as plain bun, mayonnaise, ketchup, pickles, onion, patty, cheese, patty, tomato, and tor lettuce. And last, and probably the most exciting, which is the In-N-Out Double Double. The In-N-Out Double Double is made with bun, In-N-Out sauce, tomato, tore up lettuce, patty, cheese, a whole slice of onion, one more patty, more cheese, and a plain bun. And then the in and out double double, looking beautiful. Ah, perfect, look at these burgers. Now there's no way I can eat them all, but the one that I'm most excited about is the in and out burger. So let's take a bite of this in and out burger. Mm. Unbelievable. 